Hello and welcome to this edition of ICN. I'm Taylor Grace Davis. As the new semester begins, it can be difficult for students to get back in the rhythm of keeping up with schedules, completing assignments, and other personal responsibilities. So here to give you some extra words of encouragement is a message from our Vice President, Dr. Thomas. Welcome back, Patriot family. I hope that everyone has had a successful return to classes so far this spring semester. Each new year brings renewed hope and excitement and I just wanted to take a second to remind you that no matter what has driven you to pursue your education here at Isothermal, we're all here to do whatever we can to help you reach your goals because ultimately your dream is our mission. On January 7th, Isothermal Community College was the site of a visitation and procession for fallen trooper John Horton. Horton and a detained motorist, Dusty Beck, were both killed when Horton's brother, Trooper James Horton, lost control of his vehicle and struck the two. The visitation for Trooper Horton was held in the Foundation Performing Arts Center. It was followed by a procession of the casket around Lake Imogene. There has been a GoFundMe established for the benefit and support of the family of Trooper Horton. You can find the link to this site in the description of this video or visit GoFundMe.com and search Benefit for Family of Trooper John Horton. Our cameras took to the streets to ask students how they were tackling their New Year's resolutions. Um, my New Year's resolution is to be nicer to myself, the planet, and the people around me. And so far it's going pretty good. I think I'm doing a good job. I want to be healthier this year and I think it's been going pretty good. My New Year's resolution was to definitely talk to more people, make new friends. I just decided to better myself and work on my mental health. So far, I've been working towards it. I've gotten all of my mandatory course enrollments done. I've gotten all the beginning stuff for all of my classes done, and I'm kind of proud of that. And we know we need to, we know we need to love one another and get along. My New Year's resolution has been to get like a better work schedule, and like basically like sleep and like school work schedule, so I can have that all balanced out. Besides just doing it all at the last minute, so. It, my New Year's resolution was to take hold of my desires and dreams and take advantage of every opportunity that comes my way now that we're here at REACH. If you haven't picked up your books for the spring semester, yet time could be running out. The last day to make any changes using financial aid is the bookstore is Tuesday, January 25th by 6 p.m. For questions about what your financial aid covers, check out the financial aid office, also located in the Student Services Center. In order to better help facilitate learning, Isothermal has placed several computers around campus for easy student access. These can be found in front of the library and also in the learning lab located in the Business Sciences Building. Access to computers in the library are the same as nor normal library hours, which are Monday through Thursday, 7.45 a.m. until 7 p.m. and Friday, 7.45 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. Hours for the Learning Lab are Monday, 8 a.m. until 6 p.m., Tuesday and Wednesday, 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., Thursdays, 8 a.m. until 2 p.m., and Fridays from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Finally, before we all enjoyed our Christmas break, the music department at Isothermal put on a concert. The concert showcased the talents Ashlyn Mathis on vocals and percussion along with Caleb Wallace on guitar, and Jonathan Jones on piano. It featured songs by The Beatles, Bowie, and The Grateful Dead. To hear the concert in its entirety, check out our YouTube channel, Isothermal TV. Thanks for joining us, and please remember to like us on Facebook at Isothermal Campus Connection, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Isothermal TV.